Music is a natural form of communication that transcends languages and expression. Music therapy is the skilled use of music and musical elements um, to promote wellness in people. Music uh, touches the brain in so many ways, it's such a global thing. Music therapy is a passion-driven profession that engenders incredible results. I walked into a woman's room once, a senior with dementia. I said, my name was Jimmy, and I said, what was your name? And this woman told me her name she thought was Jimmy. By the time I had finished playing some songs with her, five, ten minutes later, she was singing along without missing a beat to all these songs that she probably hadn't heard for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. I think music is all about uh, affecting the emotions, um, like all art, actually. Um, <laughs> so if you're listening to a beautiful piece of music, it's going to make you feel better. It's going to improve your mood. I think music is really important for people. And if you're feeling sad, just listen to happy music so you feel better. I do listen to classical when I'm trying to study. Um, I like all of it, as long as it's well produced and good music, I can enjoy all of it. You know what, I grew up listening to, to classic rock, and then I kind of transitioned into Canadian indie rock, and then came back around to classic rock. So. <laughs> Some people think the Mozart effect is a study that came out a while ago that sort of says if you put your baby down and show them classical music, they listen to classical music, they're going to grow up to be genius. That, that's not necessarily true. Um, and it's not necessarily true that classical music is the thing that's going to give people the most benefits. But whatever the music is that speaks to you is music therapy. Music can influence emotion, interaction, and so much more. For State News File, I'm Devin McKendrick.